Welcome to the pilot episode of Community Association Car Chat, where my co-host and I ask leading industry professionals about how they manage to con and continue to be successful in the unique world of community association. My name is David Velasco with Lifetime Tool and Building Products, who are a manufacturer for premium roofing components that address the number one causes for roof leaks. And joining me today is my co-host, Steve Roderick from JGS in Insurance. Steve, take it away. Good morning, David. Uh, thank you for the introduction. My name is Steve Roderick from JGS Insurance, and I fix things. I uh, have all my life, and I'm very proud to be part of the best insurance broker firm around. JGS is a family business, and it has been over for 100 years. We're getting better and better all the time. So enough about me. I'm very happy, honored, really, uh, to have such an esteemed first guest. David, I'm going to pass the mic right back to you. I feel the same way as you, Steve, and I'm glad to welcome today Larry Thomas from Taylor Management. Please, Larry, tell us a little bit, in a nutshell, what you do. So so currently I'm with Taylor Management Company. I'm the Corporate Development Officer. I am the utility infielder. Whenever we put a field on the team, I might be playing second base, I might be shortstop, I might be the first base coach. But Taylor always puts a great team out there and wherever my resources and experience and connections are needed, that's where I jump in. Now that's great, but that's what you're doing right now. But I know you've been in community association for a long time. Tell us exactly how long and what got you into this world? Okay, so I started 40 years ago. I was working at Sibagagi, a chemical plant in Tons River. I was a janitor there. I was working a night shift and I said, I got to get the hell out of here. I saw an ad in the paper. Yes, they did do ads in the paper at that time. It wasn't online. There was no online. And I answered the job for a maintenance supervisor at a large age restricted community in Monroe Township. Went for the interview. The first question was, have you ever done any kind of uh, building maintenance? And I said, well, I helped my father-in-law replace a hot water heater. And the guy goes, you're hired. <laughs> so, uh, within six months, I saw an opportunity to manage a high rise over in Monmouth Beach. I put my name in. Uh, fudged my resume a little bit and they hired me and from there I just escalated up and up uh, with self -man I self managed communities for a number of years. I worked for a few management companies and then probably through the years of, of being recognized and, and being visible, going to every event I could, getting all my PKM licenses and, and, and just staying you know within the industry and, and being relevant in the industry, I was offered the position of the uh, executive director for the New Jersey chapter of Community Associations Institute, which really, really created a lot of visibility and, and uh, recognition for me. And I wanted to slow down a little bit, so I was, you know, I, I, I was approached by Taylor Management Company to, to you know, work 24 hours, and that that was in uh, November of last year. And then COVID hit, and 24 hours turned into 42 hours. So I got the numbers mixed up. You know, that's that's a nutshell. That's I mean, that's a lot nutshell you got there. <laughs> yeah. So you've been at it for for quite some time. What is it about the business that you like? Like, why is why is this a good fit for you? I'm not a very talented person, but I do have a pretty. <laughs> pretty decent personality and, and uh, sense of humor and, and accountability. And I think maybe if you combine them traits, it, it kind of put me in this because I, I think to be successful as a manager or any, any part of this industry, you need to create, create relationships and have connections and be accountable. And I think if you can do all that and have a passion for it and, and you know, it gets in, it gets in your blood. It's like, uh, you know, that's all we do. Most of my friends are in the industry. Uh, Hang on, I'll get a tiny phone call. <laughs> Most of my friends are in the industry and, uh, you know, I just created relationships from, you know, I've known people 35 years I'm still friends with. What is it about the way that you do business, Larry, that sets you apart from the competition? Meaning, like, why would I call you rather than calling somebody else, another management company? What's what's different about you guys? What's different about Taylor or what's different about Larry Thomas? <laughs> Let's start with you. <laughs> there's only one Larry Thomas. And there's only one Taylor. <laughs> I'll agree with that. Then there's only one Taylor. I, I just think Taylor's a, and again, I'll put a plug in for Taylor. Uh, you know, I had some other opportunities and I chose Taylor. Uh, Taylor is a, a organic company, homegrown in New Jersey. It's not a national company, which which I liked. Uh, I can call the owner of the company right now and get him on the phone. It, it's not, you know, you don't play games that way. So it's just very accessible. I like the layers, how they do things. Everything is layers. There's, there's so many layers. You know, so our property manage managers have do have several avenues or, or streams of uh, of that they can contact to get you know 
uh, issues resolved. I mean, we're, there's always issues in this industry. If there was no issues or problems, we wouldn't need property management companies. So it's how quickly you it's how quickly you react to the issues, and you know try to be proactive and, and you know put some kind of mechanism in place so it doesn't happen again or or minimizes the occurrences that it does happen. You know, I'm very happy at Taylor. It's a, it's a great company, and and I like all the people there. But one more personal question for you. What drives you to get up and go in the morning? So I think the, probably the results, uh, the results of your efforts, you know, the, the, the fruit from the growing the tree and, and harvesting that fruit is, is, is very rewarding. So I'm, I guess I'm looking for that reward every day, um, you know, and just, you know, my contribution to get to that point is, is uh, valuable to me that I'm part of that team and part of that effort to make that to make that happen. Okay. Okay. We appreciate it. Okay. Um, do you mind telling us a little bit of something about yourself that people wouldn't expect, like a hobby or a passion or a personal accomplishment that uh, you might be proud of? In the year 2000 to the year 2006, I got out of the industry and I built hockey rinks all over the world. So you, I, built one in, I built one in I Tel Aviv. I built one in uh, Halon over in Israel. We built one in Magnitogorsk up in Siberia. Uh, I built, I was involved in uh, one in Randolph and one in Flemington, New Jersey. I was on a board of directors for USA Hockey. I was a team leader for the 2002 Women's Olympic team. I traveled with them. So, and then my wife says, you know what, you're going back to work. You're going back to work, get a job. So I got back in the industry and you know, that was 2006 and, oh my God. you know, yeah. So now here I am today. Well, since we're on the, on the fun note, let's continue with that. 30 seconds or less, or less, do you have any crazy story about community association? You said 30, 30 days or less? I mean, <laughs> uh, I'll, okay, I'll tell you, you know, here's a good story. I like to tell this. So I was managing a, a large uh, age restrictive community in Manchester and all the emergency calls went to me. So Sunday morning, I get an emergency call from the emergency service. You know, Mrs. Smith has a problem. I called Mrs. Smith. I said, Mrs. Smith, what's going on? She says the microwave fell off the wall over my stove. Can you send a guard over here to help? I said, well, I, we really don't let the guards go in the houses. That's really not their purpose. I said, uh, you know, the, we can't do that for you. I'd love to do that. I said, can your husband help you? And she says, no. I says, why not? She goes, because he's laying on the floor with a microwave on top of him. So <laughs> I just had that image in my head. Here's her on the phone. It's cool, calm and collective. He's laying on the floor, you know, sprawled out with a microwave laying on his chest. Oh, so my I, goodness. That's... <laughs> I, but to be accountable, I got my car and I went over there and helped her. So I, I lived <laughs> fairly close to the community at that time. So oh, I always cool. remember that story. I like that one. I do. Uh, all right. So we're going to have a little fun here. I don't think that I, that I had uh, mentioned this uh, when we, when he asked you to come on here, but I got some quick questions, do a little bit of rapid fire here. Uh, there are one or two word answers uh, at best. You ready? Sure. All right. What's your favorite color? M&M. Yellow. Uh, Die Hard. Action film or Christmas movie? Yeah. Action. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ginger or Marianne? Ginger. Come on. <laughs> what was the last book you read? I don't know. TV Guide. <laughs> Filet mignon or New York strip? Filet. Uh, Android or iPhone? iPhone. Uh, Roger Moore or Sir Sean Connery, God rest his soul? Uh, Sean. <clears throat> Window seat or aisle? Always an aisle. Pork roll or Taylor ham? Pork roll. Was the moon landing real or fake? I was there. I was on the moon. It was me. It was real. <laughs> I remember. I watched it on TV, 1969. Uh, which is worse? Sure. <laughs> which is worse, country music or smooth jazz? Country music. Uh, have you ever regifted anything, and what was it? Uh, probably a gift basket, and I gave it to the person who gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nicely done. Well played. <laughs> well, we said we we're going to keep this short, and we hope you enjoyed this installment of Community Association Card Chat with Dave and Steve and Mr. The esteemed Mr. Larry Thomas. Well, so, uh, Larry, here is your 20 seconds to plug and go. Well, I, I, again, I work for Taylor Management Company. Uh, we do 300 communities in the state of New Jersey, 120 managers, over 220 employees. Uh, we're home, like I said before, we're homegrown. We only we only do properties in New Jersey with a handful over the New York border, Pennsylvania border. So if you need a property management company, give me a call. We're, we're willing to talk. Just Thank you very much, Larry. We appreciate you joining us. We appreciate all those are watching and see you next time. We will be speaking with Carol Shank from Sagewater. Oh. If you don't know her, come and uh, watch it in a couple of days. Thank you very much. I love much. Carol. She, she'll be a great guest. Thank you, guys.